People ask, why do we support Israel? People accuse us of being Zionists or at least being part of a new world order plot against all Muslims and Islam as a whole. So I'm going to put that conspiratorial rubbish to bed once and for all and make things crystal clear. We believe that Israel has a right to exist. We believe Israel has a right to defend itself from any aggressor, Islamist or otherwise. And if those two things make me a Zionist, then so be it. I must be a Zionist. The English Defence League has become the most significant far-right street movement the UK has seen since the National Front in the 1970s. The organisation's leadership claims it is peaceful and non-racist, concerned only with opposing what it terms Islamic extremism. Asians, innit? Don't like the bloody Asians. It's taking over, aren't they? Yeah. They need knocking down a peg, aren't they? Taking over what? Everywhere. Civilization. They're just breeding like mad. God bless every single person in this country, of all religions, creeds and cultures. And you know what? Even God bless the Muslims. They'll need it for when they're burning in fucking hell. It has brought together a disparate group of football hooligans, far-right activists, and many who have never been on a political demonstration before. What unites them is a rampant and sometimes violent Islamophobia. Groups opposing the English Defence League have faced a campaign of threats and intimidation. Wayman Bennett received this anonymous phone call the day after a counter demonstration in Bolton. You know what, Howard? You're a four white piece of shit, Howard, Tommy, bastard. You come here, Birmingham, mate. You're fucking going to get sorted, boy, okay? You piece of shit. Bennett is head of Unite Against Fascism, a group that staged a number of demonstrations against the English Defence League. He has received countless abusive and threatening messages. This one was left on the office phone on 21st of March 2010. It's currently been investigated by the Metropolitan Police. That'd be fascist. You're Al Qaeda, you're a You remember that? You'll be sorted, motherfuckers. You go find loads off a coward. You can't come on the street, side of that. Get a hundred people behind you because you're a bitch of shit. Man, come to Birmingham, boy. Fucking gonna get sorted. The EDL is run by a secretive leadership team. The Guardian has requested interviews on several occasions to put these allegations to them, but they have refused to appear on camera. call them seditious. They are seeking the overthrow of the state. They're not respecting that which protects the state. And the, as far as I'm concerned, I'd be happy to execute people like that. It doesn't look good for, for certain parts of Europe, um, certainly the countries with the smaller populations. Right. It's going to take the loss of a few countries to actually wake other people up. I mean, I have given some money to help some EDL things happen. He's got an agenda which is probably more extreme, more hardline than most of the EDL people. Most of the EDL followers would never have heard of Alan Lake at all. I see him as a very dangerous person. We have the Germans here, we have the Swedish here, we have the Norwegians here. Bakulisna arbeta lek hela tiden för som lo anti-islamister och var hela världen till en falles front. 
Yeah. It's nice to see you over again. Anyway. Yeah, you bet. Yeah. Yeah. Alan yeah. has had a very decisive role in working with me and people in the United States. The whole discourse is about the threat to Western civilization by uh, Islam. Um, and and it, it, it's, it's bringing people together in a way that hasn't happened before. And, and Alan Lake is a kind of central kingpin in, in kind of this whole um, operation. Another strategy we're trying to do in the UK is reach out to more physical groups like football fans. We're trying to get them involved. Um, well, actually, they're contacting us they, because they, they're concerned. And these are people who are happy to go out on the street. I mean, your average intellectual is happy typing on his PC. But we've reached the end of that road. It's not, we're not going to get a fat lot more mileage out of that. You can blog and write letters to your MP as much as you like, right? Your MP doesn't care. He doesn't care what you say. Um, the only thing that's going to make people start caring again is that is our nobility, our elite leaders, is uh, if we have more numbers and if we sometimes get out on the street, then they'll care. But they don't care about our words. They don't care whether we're right or wrong and they don't read the blogs. Um, so if you can get engaged with sort of physical groups, people that are quite happy to go out on the street, think about the football fans, is they go see a match. And then after the match, they're already there on the street. So if you can then bring them off for a demo, uh, that, that works really well. You get the numbers. What happened on July the 22nd, 2011, brought Norway to a standstill and shocked the whole of Europe. 77 people murdered with deadly precision and with extraordinary malice. The verdict is unanimous and has the following conclusion. Anders Bering Breivik, born February 13, 1979, is sentenced for violation of the penal code for a term of 21 years and a minimum period of 10 years. In the first attack at 3.17 in the afternoon, Breivik detonated nearly a tonne of homemade explosives in the heart of Oslo's government quarter. Eight people were killed, hundreds more were injured. But as emergency services were still scrambling to cope with that carnage, Breivik had embarked on an even worse outrage. He made his way to Utøya Island, northwest of Oslo, where a Labour Party youth summer camp was underway. He landed at 5.15 p.m., and for an hour and 20 minutes, Breivik pursued his victims across the island and coldly shot 67, mainly teenagers, one after the other. Another two victims died trying to escape him. Breivik had hoped to address the court one last time, but his microphone was cut. Those nearest heard him say he apologized for not killing more people. But the judge swiftly intervened. I'd like to finish by making an apology. I'd like to apologize to all millions of nationalists in Norway and in Europe for not being able to... This is not the time to address anyone outside of this courtroom. I am the one you're responding to. Breivik, I'm asking you a question. What is your response? Breivik looked flushed and frustrated, but there will be no appeals. Both prosecution and defence say this process has now run its course. Did you ever meet Anders Breivik? I never.
can I start by expressing our deepest sympathies and our prayers for all the victims and all the families and in the entire country of Norway. And God How bless was them. it that this man who committed these atrocious acts was able to come on your demonstrations? Um, I don't believe he has been on, dem on our demonstration, but I believe we should stop speculating and look at the facts. The okay, facts I'm looking at, I am looking at the, some evidence here from Daryl Hobson. Do you know who he is? I don't know. But the, the, I thought you were arrested with him once, weren't you? That's the poppy burning incident. I, there was other people arrested. I was arrested on my own on that day. But page but you were arrested at the same time. Yeah. No, I wasn't. On the same day. Pa page 1438 of his dossier, he sure. states, the English Defence League are an anti-racist, anti-fascist, anti-Nazi organisation. We share, we can never, we can never coincide with this organisation because our ideologies okay. are so far we'll, apart. We'll, we'll That's what he we'll says. We'll come to because his manifesto in a, sh in, in a short so time. He but Mr stated, Hobson claims... Who is Mr Hobson? Is Mr Hobson some Mr. random Mr. member out of 100,000 members. Sorry, uh, I thought first of all there weren't, that we don't actually know how 100, many 100,000 supporters on the internet, Daryl Hobson's have one members, of them. Do you? Yeah. No. You have but more to the point, more uh, to the point, this man... This uh, man th who has been arrested... Let's not listen to what Daryl Hobson says, let's listen, to what and this, well, this, he, let's listen to what this psychopath says in his manifesto. In his right. manifesto he states let's that we that have non-white members and he sure. is ideologically so far apart from us. He calls us naive fools. The media are not reporting this. Our relationship with this he, man is completely opposite. Sure. We he encourage integration. You. He had six. He doesn't praise you. If, EDL he doesn't praise friends. us. If you listen to what he says in his manifesto rather than speculation, let's look at the facts of what he says sure. on page 1438. I can actually read them. I can read the facts if you want. He actually Just says. Tell me, out of his manifesto, how much of it do you disagree with? 1,500 pages. How much do you disagree can with? Can I state that after 7 7, would you have said this to a Muslim leader because they share the same ideology? That's that's completely parts of irrelevant. The same, parts of the same ideology. I believe, we believe, Islam is a threat. Do we want us? Do we want to stop this happening on British soil, or do we want to play the blame game? We should be trying to learn well, from this I'm incident. I'm just trying to establish some facts about the connections between the your organisation and his. Yeah, the EDL but harshly condemned. We can condemn, trade quotes the, endlessly. No, it's not. This isn't quotes. This is from his manifesto, not media, not Daryl Hobson. No, this is I'm from the man himself. The EDL harshly condemns any movement that uses terror as a tool, such as mine. This is why we and the view the EDL as naive. Fools. The EDL is a democratic movement. They still believe that the democratic system can solve British problems. They have non-European background members, African and right. Asian, etc., etc. This I is what the man said. So the presumably you've also read his listing on one of your forums. Hello to all you good English men and women. Just wanted to say you're a blessing. To all in Europe in what these date was dark this? This, was, this was before his manifesto was released, so you can see that his Indeed opinion... Indeed it was. It was almost the last thing he published before he disappeared to make his bombs. Yeah, and then you've seen his manifesto that he released. The point is, there is a massive...
totally disgusted and I think the EDL is exploiting the, the, the conflict, the Palestinian issue for their fascism, for their racism and uh, it just is a, it's, a, it's a lesson in a way to the world, it's a lesson for those to the world that how the fascism are joining ranks with, a, with, a, with Israel which is also a fascist state and um, you know this is a good lesson. And, and what do you think is motivating them? Uh, and we have, I mean, we looked in the crowd there, and there are, I mean, there's Jewish people opposing them, but there's also a few Jewish people in the crowd that we've seen. What do you, why do you think they are supporting Israel, and why do you think some Jewish people agree with that? Well, I think they're obviously completely fooled by their own propaganda, by the propaganda of the EDL, and uh, they don't realize that they're not serving anyone's interest by supporting the EDL. Really, really stupid. This rabbi who was supposed to speak there, I think he's, he's, a, he's a disgrace for Judaism, uh, you know. And I really think he should be, he should be, he should be completely banned and and re, and ridiculed and and uh, you know put, put, challenged properly for his for his racist views. Jews here, we have Muslims, we have English, we have all different types, all united against fascism, against Israel apartheid system, against everything. This is we are all united for humanity, for peace. there other groups though like the National Front, the Front National and the BNP who's been fighting this for years? When you talk about fighting it for years, those groups differ in many ways because those are just Nazis backward. Have they not been fighting Islamification? They fight anything that's not white. So they don't, ta we are sole purpose that tackle is Islam. They tackle and they have hatred for anything that's not white. Funding. How do you receive your funding? We have no funding. I notice you're wearing a, a shirt that, or a, a button that says, I am a Zionist. Yep. What does a Zionist mean to you? Uh, what is a Zionist? Well, a Zionist is someone believes in a homeland for Jewish people. I believe, uh, my definition when I've looked at that in the dictionary is, is Israel first. It means Israel first? Yes. Okay. Well, <laughs> I, be I believe in Israel's right to, right to exist. I believe in their right to defend themselves. Well, you know, there's, there is a, a negative in, in connotation in a lot of realms about Zionism, about, you know, international banking, about a lot of things like that. And since it does denote that it is Israel first, can you possibly serve two masters, meaning can you serve England and Israel at the same time? Yeah, my, my, my battle is on my homeland, is England. 